Hey collectors, Anthony from Hashes Night here, and today we're looking at Transformers, Prime Wars, Combiner Wars, Voyager, Scattershot. I wasn't going to get this guy, he's pretty beefy and he reminds me of the classic Scattershot which you saw in the little intro I did. I've never compared the original Combiner Cores with the new ones, I didn't realize they were so close in size. Um, and I'm, I'm not like, I'm like trying to think about like, or do they weigh about the same? I don't know. Anyway, we'll move them aside real quick so we can take a look at this packaging. Uh, he does come with the standard card of, you know, Scattershot. Here it is. And here's the back. He also comes with instructions. Nothing too fancy there. And then, of course, he comes with a box. The box, of course, has him and his alt on front. Uh, here's the combined uh, the combiner, I guess. Uh, Betatron, which you see Mirages here. And we'll put together Betatron so you can see them. I do have all the parts. And, of course, here is his conversion. Normal side, nothing fancy. And we move on. And let's take a closer look at him. Uh, he, he has the, the face I remember from the classic one. Uh, just, uh, really close. Uh, I have a few issues. Like this is the wings were supposed to kind of like attach in in the back here, and they don't do that very well. Um, it might be just my copy or you know age. I got him new, but new as in um, he's basically been sitting in packaging for the last eight years. New, so you know. But uh, yeah, decent enough. So conversion for vehicle mode is easy, as all of the combiner cores typically are. And I'll show you one thing real quick: his weapon combines. And if I can remember exactly how, I think it's like this. Yeah. So combines with this very long gun. I mean, it's already fairly long, but basically the shield gets added to the pistol and does this. And uh, you'll see in a second. Um, Basically, how like I'm, I don't know oh as I hit the camera here. Can I put it all together right now, like on the nose? Yeah, I can. But I should probably show that he does have landing gear. Uh, it's just a skid, so it's nothing too fancy. Uh, his legs also have um, uh, no. That's the port. Oh yeah, it has these fake wheels on it. So if we just omit the fact that we know that, we can put this in already. And have that just look at that look at the length of it on him he could basically use it to stand up anyway so the mode isn't too hard to get to uh the, my complaint is uh essentially uh there is nothing for his arms to do anyway we'll, put, we'll fold up his head stick it in here oh i should point out the combiner head is kind of down there i don't know if you can see it but uh yeah there's the combiner head Anyway, uh, back in the old days, the heads were separate, you know. Uh, we're going to move the arms out because they kind of go into place uh, down in the legs once we get them in place. And um, the legs do this 90 degree thing and then fold in. But we're going to fix the toes in. There's this flap that comes out on both sides. Slide the feet in. There we go. And uh, if you have, like... Um, Pretty much any of the flying wheel coins, they all attach basically the same concept of a, a panel and a tab. Uh, without the panel, it doesn't create a stable uh, connection. I have, I think it's Cyclonus. His ta one of his panels are missing, and I complained to Hasbro, but they're like, we'll just send you another figure. I mean, it's great. I got another Voyager combiner, but it wasn't the one I needed, so I didn't get to replace that tab. And I really wish they would just send the parts, but whatever. Uh, anyway, so basically, once you have the legs and you get to fit the arms and um, let's see, does this? It doesn't. Okay, um, so you gotta have to fit it in as best you can into here. There we go. So this is kind of a weird angle thing going on here. Uh, so we've closed this all off, and then we have to maneuver. There's a double joint here, and um, it's a matter of getting it to slide back there you go and then you can use this there's a uh, tabs underneath right here on the arms that you would connect and uh, fold it in now I mean look at this guy he is tall here's a center here we go I mean man he doesn't have the like action feature of the classic one but I mean he got two big old cannons coming out the front of him um just wow 
kind of wish I had other pieces. Uh, I could say the same thing about uh, uh, other f uh, combiners that I have parts of, but not the whole thing of. But uh, yeah, he's a he's a big boy, and uh, with the gun on front, of course, he doesn't really need the landing gear. It, it holds him up, so it does its job. It's just uh, you know interesting enough to be interesting. <laughs> so when we get back, we will show you the combined Betatron. And here is Betatron, exactly how the back of the box d displays them. And uh, as you can see, it's Computron at the top and a party and bomb below. <laughs> uh, because these are the same figures, uh, short of Optimus Prime, that forms Optimus Maximus. So um, I already had these like together in a bag. And uh, yeah, it's okay. I mean, if we turn them around to the back... And we can basically see it's an upside down uh, scatter shot, which you know it's fine. Again, these things don't clip in as much as I would like them to. I mean, they don't serve any purpose on the backside. Not like he needs to fly or anything, but uh, and he stands up fine enough. Uh, I really like the feet that came later on in um, uh, what was it? Uh, Power of the Primes, and of course he, he can ish hold. His whole pistol, um, which is fine, uh, but then we start getting front heavy, as you see Prowl is leaning him forward with the pistol in hand. So, uh, I mean, none of these Scramble City combiners from this era were particularly um, flexible. I mean, they, they, they ratcheted it to heck, that's for sure, but they're not as stable as one would like. Uh, it's a novelty of it, I guess. Uh, if you see like the display area behind me, like a number of my combiners are leaning backwards because uh, they are back heavy or they can't stand up straight and they need to be supported on their back. This one kind of suffers the same fate as all of them. They're just not balanced very well. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.